Putting parents in a tough position, many waiting until the last minute to shop. News 10's Tania Jordan is here in studio tonight with some expert advice on how to save money when back to school shopping. Tania. David and Ann, with school back in session in less than a week, some parents have already spent more this year on school supplies than they did during the COVID-19 pandemic last year. I talked with a financial expert who offered some tips parents may not have in mind right now. As inflation continues to raise prices, 38% of parents say they're moving money around and cutting corners in certain areas to afford school shopping. Financial manager Justin Hahn says community buy and sell sites are helping a lot of parents. You know, ultimately, can you reuse anything? So once again, taking a look at your current inventory, you know, do the kids need a new backpack or is the backpack from last year still in really good shape? Cassie Williams has two kids, only one is school age. It's been a lot more expensive. Uh, shopping for school supplies. And honestly, the prices have been all over the map in a way that um, feels kind of different. She's had recent changes in her employment and income level, and that changes the way she shops for school this year. The amount of clothing we bought, like rather than as we did last year, tried to buy for the entire year and kind of plan ahead, this year, we're just buying what we need for the first season, right? The fall season. And in the winter, she'll go through the clothing to see what still fits and what needs replacing. Veronica Gonzalez has a high school student. She says online shopping gives her more bang for her buck. She doesn't have to restock the school supplies as fast, and it's like a one-stop shop. Definitely school supplies, it's, you get in bulk. Uh, if you want person, it depends what store you go to. You have to get, like, depending, you know, what you need for each store. And, you know, online is better. It's just a better option. Waiting until the last minute when sales are better and using coupons and cashback offers on tax-exempt items can help parents save more, especially during sales tax holidays. Financial manager Justin Hahn says getting your kids involved helps save money, too. It's really a wonderful opportunity to start to teach your kids about budgeting. So the first thing you want to do is just have them be part of the conversation, right? Talk to the kids about what's most important to them. You know, is it a new backpack this year? Is it a you know, new set of sneakers? How we speak to our son about school shopping, like not hyping it up or getting excited about it and kind of trying to have a, a, more conversations about buying things you need versus just things you want. Total back to school spending is expected to match the 2021 record high of $37 billion. K through 12 parents plan to spend an average of $864 on school items. That's approximately.